All right, farmers, we're back with a map from back in the day. Right, so this is New Giants Island. This is by MX11, 538.71 megabyte on the download. And it says, experience the beginnings. Welcome back to the map from Farming Simulator 2009. Pure nostalgia, but with some extras. Oh, excellent. Now, I thought we've already had this map out. And it turns out we did. The FS09 Island by Norblin. Right, we'll have a little look around, see what's going on with this one. So, what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on here on Farm Manager and start from scratch, you're going to use 1,418 slots. If you're going to come on New Farmer, you're going to use 1,502. That's quite high to be fair, but the difference between the two is going to be all the buildings. None of these buildings on the start farm are here, so just bear that in mind if you are going down one of those routes. Fair enough. Right, so what do we start with on the equipment perspective? So under small tractors, we've got the Fent Favorite 515C. Under large tractors, we've got a ton, an absolute ton of them. We've got two Fent 1050s. We then got a Fent 942 Vario, another Fent 942 Vario, another Fent 942 Vario, but it's got a bit of wear on that. 75 months usage, 64% repair state. And then on the end, we've got the Fent 942 Vario Black Beauty. Yes, my favourite tractor in the game. But that's got 100 months wear on it and 85% repair requirements. Just bear that in mind. Those last two, yeah, it might need a little bit of fixing up. But it's A's. Then we come to the harvesters, the Fent Ideal 10T. On the cars, we've got the Lizard Pickup 1986. On the trailers, we've got the Chronic GX520 times 2 we then got on the headers, the Fent Dynaflex 92.55.40 foot. On the cultivators, the Lemkin Coraline 9840. We then come down to seeders, we've got the Kuhn Espro 6000 RC. On the fertilizer spreaders, the Breedle K165. On the front loaders, the Hauer XB150. On the front loader tools, the Albert Universal Bucket. On the header trailers, the Nardi N7040. And to finish off underweights, we got the Fent 3300, the Agco 1500 times three. All right, fair enough. That's a lot of equipment to start off with. All right, Ace. So what about the map? There we are. If you've played this game for a long time, you probably know this map already. But this is what we're starting with. So you start in the middle there on New Farm. This is going to be your main farm. And there is a ton of stuff. Absolute ton. But the ones with the exclamation points are actually just like beauty spots, things that you can look for. We've got a viewpoint there. We've got this one there. That's church. We've got this one all the way out on the lighthouse island. Now, these are quite important and we'll see as we go around. But if you want to buy it, field 45, area 45, whatever you want to call it, 511 grand. You also get field 15 and 23. We've got a couple of small ones, 39 grand there. We've got a couple of big ones as well, 567 grand. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Right, so the main start farm. Obviously, you've got your sleep trigger just behind you at the main house. Go around this way. We've got some chickens. I mean, look at that, that's ace. Do a bit of chopping block on the go there. So you've got your egg pallet spawn point, animal dialogue box. So it's going to hold 50 chickens and your food going into there. And we'll spin it around. Because we've got this barn, shed, whatever you want to call it, behind us. Now, there's a tank there, but there's no icons. I don't know if it's there for decoration or if it's actually supposed to have anything. But we've got a light switch there. Is that for the outside lights? <laughs> they didn't turn on. I can see something. A little bit of something. Oh, it might be inside. All right, let's go have a look. Let's open up those gates. like Our light's inside. Right, fair enough. Now you've got a taking out point of a silo, straw barn, silo empty. So that's, that's the taking out point. And that should mean if we go into this door like that, it's got to be a putting in point, if I'm not mistaken. Normally you'd have a putting in point. Ah, there we are. Chuck it all in there. Then obviously take it out inside. A little game of basketball as well, if you like. Fair enough. And we'll come over here. We've got to open up this door like that. So a bit more storage, a lot of your equipment in there, fair enough, turn the shed lights on if you wanted to. And we'll come round here, I'll go down the end to this one, another bit of storage on the end again. 
we'll open up these doors like that there you are there's one of your fence <laughs> there's your cedar excellent and we'll come out there in the middle you got your silo load in and load out at the front and a nice bunker silo in the middle there as well we'll come over here so we've got a bit more storage like that there you are a bit more storage in there now we'll spin around this is ace it's got the workshop ramp on it oh i like that it's back your tractor up obviously then fix it up underneath there's my fent black beauty oh i love it we've even got these little fent cases although to be fair you've got a pallet of class parts going on to a fent but all right fair enough obviously pull your tractor up hit the spanner fix it all up 23 grand it's a bit pricey all right a bit more storage in there and we'll come down to your cow barn so you've got your slurry taken out point just there open up that door like that feed straw goes into there and we'll come down this end and you have your animal dialogue box and then your milk taking out point just there there we are so 80 cows going in and then last off right by your start farm house whatever you want to call it is a water point fair enough right then we're going to make a little bit of a move so we're going to start in the bottom left hand corner down here so this is going to be one of those uh, viewpoints this one is called lighthouse south now the best thing about these is the view especially this one i've climbed all the way up the stairs which goes round and round and round and round and then you get a nice view at the top but what seems to be here when you go for one of these viewpoints is a collectible yeah lump of gold so we collect that 50 grand oh excellent and the ones that i've seen so far i've all got these lumps of gold there oh very nice right so rather than go all the way back down there i'm just gonna jump off the top oh just like that oh very nice i mean apart from that and another viewpoint up here there isn't really much else going on you can't really buy the area either so i suppose you could mow the grass possibly ah oh, maybe all right we'll carry on so you come down here it's going to be your pier so this is is it going to be called a pier viewpoint all right it's just called viewpoint now is there a gold nugget around here somewhere can't see one i could be completely missing it but all right fair enough we'll carry on that's a shame i thought there would be one down here all right maybe there's not one at every viewpoint but that yeah, just come out here, chill out, do a bit of fishing, that sort of thing. Yeah. Right, we'll move on again then. We're going to come over to this one up here. So obviously it's going to be a south point for you, but this one is called Grass Heaps. And it's a grass heap. Oh, that's ace. So just sell your grass off there. Fair enough. And we've got this little building here, actually. You could store some stuff in there if you wanted to. Fair enough. And we're going to come over here. We're going to go over the road got a production chain times two and as you can see by the buildings already one's going to be a dairy and one's going to be a bakery so we'll come around there like that is this going to be another little storage area yes it is that's all right so standard base game ones so you've got your loading in point there your production your pallet spawn point there and then your production chain menu is around this side just like that 110 grand fair enough i'm gonna spin around there you've got your dairy Production chain menu just there, 70 grand, loading in, then down the side is your pallet spawn point. Oh, very nice. Right then, we'll move on again. We're going to come over to this area up here. So this is going to be your BGA for you. So standard things on the go again, loading in the top, production chain menu just there, 100, 1.5 million, 150 grand would have been nice, but no, 1.5 million to buy that. Loading in point for your slurry taking out point for your digestate and then we'll come back around here you've got a couple of big bunker silos as well three of them it's all right i mean you've got a nice big slurry point taking out point there oh that's got to be is that going in or taking out it's a slurry storage tank all right fair enough nice way bridge over there if you want to keep an eye on your weights for the road ah oh, fair enough we'll come up and over the road here well up the grass bank this is going to be another one of those viewpoints it's like stonehenge yeah <laughs> excellent now is there going to be a gold nugget around here oh yeah there it is found it 
And that's got me thinking, maybe that one at the pier does have one. Oh, this has got two. Well, there you are. I'll have both of them. It's a hundred grand. Excellent. Right, we'll move on again. We're going to come up to this one up here. Just there like that. So this is going to be sheep shelter, but you do have to buy the land. So if you buy field 50, 121 grand, you then get all the icons. If you come on here before, none of the icons will be there. Just bear that in mind. So you've got your animal dialogue box there, 75 going in, loading in point for your food, and then your wool pallet spawn point. Although once we've bought the land, we've got a production chain menu on it. It's interesting. So there's, uh, there's nothing there. Well, I'm not getting any icon. Well, the icon's there. I'm not getting any options on it. Let's just go have a look, actually, down in the production chain menu. No, there's nothing there, but it's spawned production chain menu. All right, fair enough. We'll carry on. Let's go back up to the map. So we'll go up there like that. We're going to come over to this area here. So first up, we've got another viewpoint, which is actually called campground. No, not that one. A little bit higher. There you are, camping site. So... Where's the gold nugget? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's probably hidden somewhere. Oh, it gives you a little something to go and have a hunt for. But then next to that, we've got another water fountain. Come fill up your vehicle, your trailer, whatever you're using. And obviously, a bit of storage. Uh, that, that's moving on its own. That's, that's something out of a horror film. Can we get on? No, it doesn't allow us to. All right, we'll move on quick just in case something's going to jump out. And obviously, you've got all the campsites here. And if you want to come down here on a start from scratch, place a doormat down or a duffel bag, that sort of thing. Yeah, no problem. Oh, I like that. And you've got a couple of sheds as well. And to store some stuff in. Very nice. Right, so we're going to come down the road past the horror roundabout. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Right, we're going to turn right here. Over the road is going to be another grass heap sow point for you. A little jog down in the August sunshine. I'm going to come up to an ace bit. A real ace bit. I do like it. So we'll go to the left first. It's got a little, yeah, a little cornucopia of things. So first up, we've got this bit here. So we'll come down to here. We'll zoom in a little. So we've got a sow point just there. This is going to be NGI farm shop. So load your stuff into there. Then we'll come around here, and this should be a fuel station. There you are, just there. It's got this telephone icon. It doesn't do anything, mind you, but all right. And you got that one there. Click on that. It'll take you into your finance section menu. And we'll come down here. You've got a buy point. So this one, just there. That is going to be for, there you are, fertilizer. And we'll spin it around. We've got another sour point just here for you although well, that's got a it's an egg sale point fair enough bring your eggs down here that reminds me of 17 that had one of those on the is it gold crest valley had that sort of icon all oh, that's all right another buy point just there and we've got another buy point just there oh i like that it sort of brings back the old school yeah ace then we'll come back out of there we're going to go over the road because this is awesome now, obviously, when we went through the whole machinery, you've seen that a couple needed a bit of repair. So, you've got your normal thing there, hatch marking area, hit your spanner, fix it all up. And we'll come over here, we've got your main shop menu, but one of our tractors is already down here. It's already in the shop being fixed. And you've got a pit there if you wanted to do that, you know, a bit of role play, that sort of thing. But you come over there like that, lower it down. <laughs> And it's coming down. Oh, that tractor. It's all fixed up. It needs a bit of a jet wash, mind you, but that is ace. Oh, love it. I mean, does that one go up as well? Yes, it does. Oh, two poster. Two poster and a four poster. You could really do a role play on this map. With this build near, that is ace. Oh, love it. Right, we'll move on again. We're going to come over to this area up here. So this could be another viewpoint for you, and this is the viewpoint. <laughs> it is looking out over the bay. Now, I have found where the gold nugget is, and it's in the bin. <laughs> there, there it is. We we'll collect that tar very much. Oh, Ace. I love it. Right, so we'll come up there. We're going to go up the hill. Well, that's a bit of a steep hill, I must admit. 
We've come to a sort of bit of a village area. I do like a map with a nice village. Although, to be fair, that roundabout, yeah, that was a bit scary. <laughs> it's just moving on its own, but all right, fair enough. We've got another production chain. It's going to be your bakery again. So your pallet spawn point just there, loading in. And then round the front is going to be your production chain menu. Just there like that, 50 grand. And then we'll spin back around and we'll come over the road. It's going to be a sow point for you. So this is going to be your church. And where is the sow point, actually? Where's your... Spin it around the back. No. That's interesting. So we come over to this one there. Also, oh, viewpoint. All right, fair enough. That means there'll be a gold nugget knocking around. Yeah, all right, we'll find that later. And we'll come over the road. And then we have got a sow point. Which is just at the front there. So this one is going to be called... We'll click on that there like that. Sow station for eggs. Fair enough. Right, we'll move on up to this one up here. So this one is going to be a buy point for you for water. Fair enough. Now, there is a couple of things I notice as I go around here. Like this bike rack. It seems to be floating. Some of the textures are a little bit... Hmm. All right, fair enough. We'll carry on. And we'll come up here. I'm going to go over the road. We'll watch out for the cars. Don't want to get myself run over. So a south point grass heap again. Oh, this is all right. Coming in here like that. Basketball court. Oh, and we've got basketball. Oh, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Why not? Can we do a free throw? Let's give it up. Look like that. Give it a shot. Yes. Oh, it did. It went in. Oh, I've got stuck. Oh, that is ace. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. Right, so we'll come and we'll go back down the beach because it's going to be another viewpoint down here. Now, I'd imagine there's going to be some sort of gold nugget knocking around the area. All right, fair enough. Carry on. And we'll come up here. We've got a skate park. Oh, that was all the rage when I was a kid. Many years ago. <laughs> oh, I do like it, though. This is ace. So, whoop, we go. There we are. Got another viewpoint here at the kiosk, so there should be another gold nugget knocking around there as well. And we come down, it's getting like a little village. This is ace. I mean, I do like this bit. <laughs> we come up the steps as well, why not? Afternoon, <laughs> just run past them. Oh, brilliant. So we've got a cell point just here. So this one, come all the way up here. So we've got that one there, cell station for eggs again. So it makes it like they want you to sell eggs. All right, fair enough. We're going to come up this bit. Can we get up this hill? Yes. But another viewpoint up the top of the hill. Just imagine it's going to be like a little cottage. Just somebody walking around, mind you, having a bit of a wonder. But all right, fair enough. And we'll come down here. And as you can see, in the foreground, you've got a couple of production chains. So one's going to be your oil mill. One's going to be your sugar mill. I hope I don't roll down this hill because I'll probably do myself some damage. But... <laughs> all right fair enough now we're going to buy this oil mill because there is a couple of extra things in the main shop so you've got your loading in point just there pallet spawn point just there we'll come around here and we'll click on that there you are so 80 grand yes it's got these in so sunflower canola and olive oil but you can also do corn and soybeans oh that's all right it's all right indeed and then around here you've got your sugar mill so you've got your loading in point the old pallet spawn point there. Load in point just there. And then round the front here, we've got the production chain menu. 80 grand. Fair enough. Then over here, we've got another sow point. Sort of old rickety shed. Oh, to be fair, do, do those boats look like they're floating in the air? Now, I remember that on social media, like, what was it, a year ago? About this ph phenomenon. <laughs> I've tried, tried saying that word. It's just like seeing a boat floating in the air. But all right, we'll carry on. So this one, we'll go back up to the map. This one is going to be called up here like that. Click on that. Water mill. Fair enough. All right, we're going to come down to this one here. This is going to be another production chain for you. So tailor shop. You've got your production chain menu there. Loading in point just there. Pallet spawn point just there. All fairly standard. We're at the back end of that little bit of a village. Sort of like an old Victorian style one. Oh, I like that. Then we'll come over here and we've got a, another 
banking point if you want to facilitate getting some money out. We'll come out of there, down the road a little. I mean, some of these buildings are ace, I must admit. I do like them. We'll come down here, and we've got a, another building there. So this should be a sell point. It's going to be like a farmer's, no, not farmer's market. Fast food restaurant. There you are. I know it come to me eventually. Next door to that, got another fuel station. It's got a banking point there. Obviously, fill your vehicle up. And we'll come over here. Look at that. Seaside shopping. It's a little shopping centre. South point just there. Then we'll come down this side. Past that trolley that somebody's left out. And another one. <laughs> oh, another south point just there. So we've got these two either side of that building. So we've got supermarket. And then south station for eggs. Fair enough. So we can come over the road. So we've got another south point just here. Another one of those bales of grass. Just bring your grass down here. Sell it all off. Right there by the wind turbine. Very nice. Right. I'm going to move on over to this area up here. So this is another little collection of things. Mainly cell points and buy stations. And it's it's and flora. It's a little garden centre. Oh, that's all right. So we'll come round here. And we've got a buy point for your manure. Come round here. And we've got a buy point for... Looks like seeds, to be fair. We've got another buy point over there. That looks like seeds as well. All right. Now that's going to be a sell point, isn't it? Because it's an unloading icon. Sell point for manure. We'll sell out of the garden centre. Oh, that's all right. And we'll come round here. We've got a sell point there. That looks like for straw. Fair enough. And we'll come back round here. We've got another sell point there as well. So let's zoom in a little. Click on that. There we are. Farmer's market. Garden centre. And then garden centre again. Fair enough. Now, we're going to come over to this one up here. So this is going to be another one of those viewpoints. But this is the island. And you can only get to it by foot. You can't drive over here. And there is a gold nugget. Just bear that in mind if you want to come over here. A little bit of exploring. Because you've got to come all the way over this bridge. Oh, that's ace. Oh, I do like that. Just make sure I don't fall off. All right, we'll carry on. I'm going to come back over to this one here. So as you can probably tell from the icon, this is going to be your animal dealer. So just pull your trailer off and away you go. So we'll spin around. We're going to come back down the main road. We're going to come to the next one just down here. There's a nice August sunshine in the morning. Morning jog. Why not? Get yourself ready for the day. So we've got another south point here. So this should be San Giovanni Pizzeria. So we're down here now. So we'll click on that. There you are. Restaurant. Then around the back of that one is another sale point just there. So this one is going to be called The Local. Oh, it's a pub. Yeah, because that'd be like the bar cellar. Oh, there's the kegs of beer. Oh, excellent. Just take your stuff down to the pub. Oh, that's ace. Oh, I do like that. Right, we'll carry on. I'm going to come over to the port area. So, first up, we've got a cash point, if you want to get some money out. Secondly, we've got a buy point, which is just here for your fuel. Come fill your vehicle up. Then got another buy point just there. That's going to be... We'll click on that. There we are. What's it going to say? Seaport, oversea import. All right, fair enough. Then come up here, and then we've got a sell point just there. So, this is going to be... We'll get to it, and then we'll click on the map. And uh, this is going to be Seaport Wood Chips. Fair enough. And we'll come back around here. Past the skips. Past the boat waiting to be loaded. Got another sail point just here. Up the ramps for you. So this one is going to be Seaport Grains and Roots. Fair enough. And we've got another viewpoint over here. What that's that going to be? So that looks like a workshop to me. Yeah, it is. Can we can we send this up in the air? We've got the options for oh, yeah. No, that's a floodlight. There's no option to put it up in the. Oh, this one might be though. Yes. Repair your vehicle at the docks. Oh, ace. Very nice. Right, so you got your debris crusher at the top, at the side. Got another buy point just there for you. And we got a. Another sell point just there. So this one is going to be called, click on that, Seaport Windrow. Just imagine that's going to be like straw and stuff. Right, fair enough. 
And we'll come up here. We've got two more sail points down here by the boats. Ready to take your stuff, your crap. So the first one is going to be that one there. So that's called Oversea Export. Then we've got another one here. Well, that's a different icon. So I imagine that's going to be your sow wood. Yes. Sow your wood down there at the docks. Right, fair enough. All right, we're going to move on again. We're going to come over to this area up here. So that's another viewpoint for you. So it's a nice chill out beach chalet sort of scenario. I mean, the, the gold nuggets behind there, behind the deck chair. But just in case you want us to know. And we'll come down here. And we've got another sow point for you. So just, oh, that's a production chain actually. Pallet spawn point. Loading in point. There's the menu. Saying that, grain mill. We buy it, yes. Corn flour. Ooh, that's interesting. So you've got a pallet spawn point there. And a pallet spawn point there. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Right, we'll move on again. So we'll go back up to the map. And then we're going to come down to this area here. So as you can probably tell, it's going to be pigs. But again, there's no icons when you first come down here. So you are going to need to buy the land. So that's 35. They are 131 grand. Yep, yeah, we'll buy that. And it's got this sort of double icon on the map. So you load in your food there. Your animal dialogue box there. 280 pigs. We come down this end. It's going to be your slubby taking out point. Just there. Although I haven't seen that production chain icon that we did on the sheep all right fair enough all right we'll move on again i'm going to come down to this area down here so first up down here, it's going to be a great processing unit so you load in just there production chain menu just there so that's going to cost you 80 grand pallet spawn point just there then we'll come over the road up the driveway a little and over to this one so this looks like it's going to be a sawmill actually click on that one there sawmill 100 grand Pallet spawn point just there. You got your salwood and salwood icon just there. And we'll spin it back round because you've got your wood chip taken out point just there. And then got another sow point there. Well, that loading in point actually. It's interesting. Now it's a sow point. What's that called? Biomass heating plant. Oh, that's all right. That's something different. Chucking it straight into that sort of little hopper. Oh, I like that. And you've got a buy point just there, so I'd imagine that's going to be fertiliser or seed. Another buy point over there is probably going to be your lime or fertiliser. And you've got another buy point there. Again, probably your seeds. And your sow point just there. Isn't that great? So that sow point is going to be called, we'll click on that. There you are. ZG Agricultural Trader. Fair enough. And then down the end, we've got a fuel tank. There's no icon, so you should just pull your vehicle down the side of it. And away you go. Fair enough. Right, we're going to come over to the next area. Now this looks familiar. This looks like a carpentry. And a spinnery. Right, fair enough. So the first one, obviously, is your carpentry. So you've got your production chain menu just there. 60 grand. Load in. Hit your sow wood icon. Pallet spawn point. Then your spinnery is going to be pallet spawn point. Load in. And then round the back just there production chain menu 60 grand ah, fair enough and then we've got another viewpoint down here right by the pier which I imagine it's going to have its own little golden nugget we'll have a little trudge around on the beach oh why not and that is it if we go back up to the map that's it we started at the main farm we've gone all the way around the top all around these all different points and there is loads of different points we come back down to the bottom and you know what i like this map yeah there is a couple of little areas that need touching up yeah the textures aren't right a couple of floating things but nothing too dramatic i mean if you were to go back to 2009 when this map first came out on that game it's a hell of a lot better oh definitely the graphics are way better but you know sometimes you know you just got to roll these things and it's all right it is all right i like it all right drop it in the comments below what you're going to be doing on this map you're going to smash out some animals or smash out some fields we'll see what people are looking at if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one